Welcome to version 4 of Comprehensive Meta-Analysis. This edition of CMA includes four major new features. These are Video Tutorials Prediction Intervals The option to create text reports along with annotations and references and Explanations to help you avoid common mistakes. I address each of these in turn but you can use the buttons below to navigate between features. The first new feature is Video Tutorials. The videos show how to enter data, how to run the analysis, how to create high-resolution plots, how to compare subgroups, and so on. The second new feature is prediction intervals. In version 3, the program included a line that showed the mean effect size with its confidence interval. The confidence interval is an index of precision. It tells us that the mean effect size falls between here and here but it says nothing about how widely the effect size varies across studies. That is addressed by the prediction interval. In version 4, you have the option to add a line that shows the prediction interval. This is the prediction interval, and it tells us that in any single study, the true effect size will usually fall between here and here. Over the past few years, most guidelines for publishing meta-analyses have been updated and now ask authors to include the prediction interval. The prediction interval can be added to the high-resolution plot, and you can customize the way these intervals are displayed. Additionally, CMA can create a plot that displays the entire distribution of true effects. It also generates these captions. This caption corresponds to this line. It reads, The mean effect size is 2.4 with a 95% confidence interval of 1.7 to 3.4. This caption corresponds to this line. It reads, the true effect size in 95% of all comparable populations falls in the interval 0.65 to 8.9. And it tells us that while the mean effect is here, in any single population, the true effect size can fall some distance from the mean. There are some populations where the treatment is actually harmful and some where it is extremely helpful. With one click, the plot can be exported to Word or to PowerPoint. The third new feature is Reports. CMA will now generate a report that explains the meaning of all the statistics. In this analysis, the report reads, in part, What is the mean effect size? The mean effect size is 2.402, with a 95% confidence interval of 1.699 to 3.396. The mean effect size in the universe of comparable studies could fall anywhere in this interval. The z-value tests the null hypothesis that the mean effect size is 1. The z-value is 4.96 with a p-value of less than 0.001. Using a criterion alpha of 0.050, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that in the universe of populations comparable to those in the analysis, the mean effect size is not precisely 1. The section on heterogeneity reads, in part, 
the I-squared statistic. The I-squared statistic is 71%, which tells us that some 71% of the variance in observed effects reflects variance in true effects rather than sampling error. Additionally, you have the option to annotate the report and add additional explanation. For example, if I click Notes On, this section of the report adds the following. Notes on I-squared. There is a common belief that I-squared tells us how much the effect size varies across studies. In some cases, I-squared values have been employed to classify the amount of variation as being low, moderate, or high. While this interpretation of I-squared is ubiquitous in some fields, it is nevertheless incorrect. I-squared is a proportion, not an absolute amount. It tells us what proportion of the variance in observed effects reflects variance in true effects rather than sampling error. It does not tell us how much the effects actually vary. The statistic that tells us how much the effect size varies is the prediction interval, which is discussed below. After those notes, the report returns to the basic text, which continues as follows. The prediction interval. If we assume that the true effects are normally distributed in log units, we can estimate that the prediction interval is 0.648 to 8.897. The true effect size in 95% of all comparable populations falls in this interval. The program inserts the relevant citations, and you can export the report to Word with one click. The fourth new feature is common mistakes and how to avoid them. We recently published a text called Common Mistakes in Meta-Analysis and How to Avoid Them. These include serious mistakes in such areas as how to choose a statistical model, how to report heterogeneity, how to understand the tests for publication bias, how to interpret subgroup analyses, among others. From any module in the program, you can access the relevant parts of this text. Learn what the mistakes are and how to avoid them in your analysis. That's an overview of the new features in version 4. Video tutorials. Prediction intervals. The option to create text reports along with annotations and references explanations to help you avoid common mistakes. To learn more, go to this web page. There are links to download a free trial of the program, to upgrade from an earlier version of CMA, or to download a chapter from the book on common mistakes. If you have any questions, please send an email to this address. And thank you for your attention. Following are testimonials from some people who use this software. Chad Nye, University of Central Florida, Center for Autism and Related Disabilities. Comprehensive Meta-Analysis, CMA, is one of those rare tools in the research arsenal that does what it purports to and makes both the process and output understandable. I've used CMA for seven years in my own meta-analytic work and in EBP workshops and courses. The ease of learning the program application and the resulting output make for a wonderful data analysis and learning tool. Regina M. Kusan, University of Connecticut, School of Nursing. Comprehensive meta-analysis is a gem. Students are able to return to our computer lab to complete a meta-analysis assignment independently after an initial faculty demonstration session. The software facilitates application of complex concepts with real data, helping students see the power of the meta-analysis process.
Rachel Hershenberg. I am an advanced graduate student in clinical psychology, and CMA software was integrated into a meta-analysis course I recently took. I feel very fortunate to have been trained in meta-analyses at a time when we have this software because CMA is easy and I dare say fun to use, rather than spending countless hours computing my own effect sizes and creating syntax, the program did it for me, which allowed me to spend my time really looking at the data, both graphically and numerically. I bought CMA for myself and would recommend it to anyone looking to learn the art of meta-analysis. Jaisuan Lin, Michigan State University. Comprehensive meta-analysis software is like a magic wand. The simple and clear interface, like an Excel sheet, will guide you to do complicated meta-analysis within only a few clicks. The comprehensive formats included in the software allow researchers to input the data in various ways. It provides clear outputs and high-resolution graphs which can be imported to Microsoft Word. I especially love the feature that shows you the calculation steps so you can check whether you've run it correctly. It also provides advanced subgroup analysis, moderator analysis, meta-regression, and publication bias analysis. This software is a lifesaver. Michael Hubble, Director, Emergency Medical Care Program, Western Carolina University. CMA is an incredible software package for the novice and experienced researcher alike. It offers a sophisticated array of analytical techniques, yet retains the flexibility to adapt to your specific application. The interface is intuitive and user-friendly and frees the user to focus on the analysis rather than the software. I use CMA in my graduate biostatistics course and recommend it to all of my faculty colleagues as well. The software is a joy to use. Edward Mullen, Columbia University. I have used comprehensive meta-analysis as the primary course software for a doctoral level course on systematic review and meta-analysis methods, which I have taught at Columbia University. The software, documentation, and tutorial materials have made the teaching and learning of meta-analysis methods stimulating, efficient, and enjoyable. While the methods of meta-analysis can be daunting to students, this program and supporting materials provide clear guidance and hands-on experience which greatly enrich the learning process. Based on my experience, I think that comprehensive meta-analysis should be required in any course dealing with the subject. 